Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Microbiology Easy Notes. If you like this channel, please like, subscribe, comment and share. Today's topic, Compound Microscope. In this topic, I will talk about parts of Compound Microscope, how does it work, its principle and its magnification. Anything smaller than 0.1 mm is too small for human eye to see without the help of spatial tools. So to see smaller objects, we need spatial tools. Microscope is such a tool that helps us to visualize tiny objects. Micro means small and scope means to look at. Microbes are too small in shape. Their size is around 10 nanometer to 10 micrometer. It is impossible to see them with the naked eye. We need a microscope which magnifies the image of microbes then it becomes easier to visualize them. There are various types of microscope that are used in microbiology lab. Compound microscope, phase contrast microscope, fluorescence microscope, electron microscope and dark field microscope. There are two types of electron microscope, scanning electron microscope and transmission electron microscope. All the microscope that used in microbiology lab are classified based on the source of light, arrangement, number of lenses or method of interaction between the sample and lens. It is a microscope that uses more than one lens to magnify the image of an object. Since it uses multiple lenses, thus called the compound microscope. Parts of compound microscope. First part is head. This part holds the lenses of compound microscope. The height of head can be adjusted as per the requirement of user. Second part is body tube. Body tube is a part that connects eyepiece to the objective lens. It is made up of metal or plastic. Some body tube has inbuilt scale which helps the user to measure the object. Eyepiece or ocular lens. It is a convex lens which is used for viewing the sample. Eyepiece lens can be adjusted to fine tuning of focus and magnification. Their magnification power can be 10x or 15x. Compound microscope can have 1, 2 or 3 ocular lenses. Nose piece. It is located at the end of body tube. It has a circular mount that holds the objective lenses. Nose piece can be rotated so that desired objective lens can be used or swept out. It is made up of metal and may have marking scale to measure the sample. Objective lens. There can be three or four objective lenses mounted on nose piece. These lenses have different magnification powers that helps in a thorough and deep examination of sample. Scanning objective gives total magnification of 40x, low power objective gives total magnification of 100x, high dry objective gives total magnification of 400x and oil immersion objective lens gives total magnification of 1000x. Arm or metal stand. It is a heavy metallic vertical rod which provides strong support to the whole instrument. Metal stage. Metal stage is located below the objective lens. This is the place where the slide having sample is placed. Stage has two clips that hold the glass slide and keep it from moving. The stage can be moved horizontally and vertically using a stage controller. Condenser The condenser is located below the stage and helps to focus the light coming from the light source onto the sample. It can also control the intensity and distribution of the light to improve the resolution and contrast of the image. Diaphragm. Below the condenser is diaphragm. It controls the amount of light that passes through the condenser lens reaching to sample. Diaphragm consists of overlapping blades that can be closed or open. This feature helps in light adjustment. Illuminator. Below the diaphragm is light source which is located on the base of microscope. This is the light source of microscope which illuminates the sample. It is basically bright white light bulb or LED. Light switch. Beside the illuminator is on off switches present. This switch turns the illuminator off and on. Fine knob adjustment. It is located at the end of arm and near the base of the microscope. This small rotating knob helps to fine tune the focus of the image. Next is coarse adjustment. 
course adjustment also located at the end of arm and near the base of the microscope it helps to move objective lens up and down the course adjustment is typically used in conjunction with the fine adjustment knob brightness adjustment this switch controls the brightness of light microscope there are other methods also which can control the brightness of light like adjustment of diaphragm using condenser and by adjusting the eyepiece next is base it is a flat stable platform that sits on the surface and support the rest of the microscope to understand the compound microscope principle first we need to understand how a simple microscope or magnifier glass works in magnifying glass lens is a convex lens the surface of the convex lens is always curved surface when light falls on the surface it bends when light source is distant from the lens parallel light rays fall on lens surface refract and lens focuses them on one specific point that is called focal point it is represented by capital f here the distance between the center of the lens and the focal point is called the focal length it is represented by small f lens strength is related to focal length a lens with a short focal length magnifies an object more than a lens having a longer focal length to understand the simple microscope's principle look at this diagram this is the convex lens this is the principal axis and this is the object object is placed inside the focal point of the convex lens and the bottom of the object is placed on the principal axis two rays of light are drawn from the top of the object the first ray of light is parallel to the principal axis this light ray will refract change the direction cross cross the focal point and reaches to the eye the second ray of light it is not parallel to the principal axis thus it will directly pass through the center of the convex lens and reaches to the eye as you can see the rays are diverging on the right side of the lens the eye looks back along with the rays that seem to have come from a point behind the object where the two rays of the lights are meeting look at these dotted lines and here the two rays of lights are meeting this is the place where virtual image is formed this is the virtual image and this is the object the virtual image is larger than the object and this is how we get the enlarged image of an object with the help of magnifying glass the magnification of these convex lenses typically range between 6x and 10x that means it magnifies the image size 6 times or 10 times so this is how magnifying glass works now to understand the principle of compound microscope look at this image this is the principal axis this is eyepiece or ocular lens this is objective lens and this is the focus point of objective lens and this is object in the case of compound microscope object is placed near but outside the focus point of objective lens again the light ray which is uh, parallel to the principal axis will refract change the direction and the light ray which is not parallel to the principal axis will directly pass through the center of the objective lens and the meeting point of uh, these two rays is the place where real but inverted images formed now focus point of eyepiece f0 is adjusted in such a way that uh, real inverted image falls within the uh, focus point of ocular lens now this real inverted image act as an object uh, for the ocular lens and ocular lens will further magnify this image again the light ray which is uh, parallel to the principal axis will refract and change the direction while the light ray which is uh, not parallel to the principal axis directly pass through the center of the ocular lens 
when you see the back side of these two rays look at these dotted lines the meeting point of these dotted line is the place where virtual images form and this virtual image is received by an observer's eye so this is how in the case of compound microscope uh, object images uh, magnified by both objective lens and ocular lens The total magnification of compound microscope is determined by the combination of objective and ocular lens power. Assume you have 10x eyepiece power and 100x objective power. Then the total magnification of this combination would be 10 into 100 is equal to 1000x. Immersion oil lens. The oil immersion lens that is a 1000x magnification power lens gives maximum magnification but it is exceedingly narrow and most light misses it. Therefore, the object is seen poorly and without resolution. To overcome this issue, lens is used with a drop of immersion oil. Immersion oil is made from non-hardening hydrocarbons and petroleum byproducts. While using immersion oil, it is placed between the lens and the glass slide. Immersion oil has the same light bending ability as the glass slide. So when light passes through it, it keeps the light in a straight line and that straight line falls on a glass of a lens and resolution becomes clear. For more understanding, watch videos on how to use immersion oil. There are many videos available on YouTube.